Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 2, A Block Diagram. Go into LabVIEW and open up a blank VI. Your windows will pop up and I recommend going to the window and choosing Tile Left Right or Tile Up Down. It will give you more space for working. Alright, so let's put some things on our front panel. Let's choose a numeric control and a numeric indicator. This is important. Controls are for putting information in and indicators are for getting information out. Let's give ours good names. Typically we put X's into an equation and we get the Y value out. And I'm just going to make a little equation here y equals 4x minus 10. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so we can see it easier. All right, so we're going to use LabVIEW to evaluate this function for given values of x. Let's go to the block diagram and you can see that when we put an X and Y on the front panel, it put one on the block diagram. And the X has an arrow coming out and a, the Y has an arrow coming in. Go ahead and control click on your block diagram. That will bring up the functions palette. If you ever opened up a radio or DVD player, you'll see that it has many wires and circuit boards. That is what we're going to make on the block diagram. Go into the numeric palette since we are dealing with numbers. And you'll see all sorts of operations like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Order of operations says that we multiply first, so grab the multiplying block. And then wire the x to it, and we need to multiply it times a number, so you could grab a number block and type in the number 4 or which would probably be faster and probably what you'll do more in the future is control click and create a constant this is usually easier and faster so go ahead type in 4 so right now whatever x is will be multiplied by 4 now we need to subtract 10 so grab a subtraction block and put it there. The answer from the multiplication goes into the top. Create a constant and change that to 10. And you'll see that all these wires are flowing from left to right into the Y block. We've now written our first program in LabVIEW. Let's see ha what happens when we run it. x is 0, so 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 10 is negative 10. Click on the white arrow to run the program. And you'll see that we got the correct answer. Let's change x to 5. So we should get an answer of 4 times 5 is 20. 20 minus 10 is 10. So when we run it, we should get the answer of 10, and we do. There's a very nice feature on the block diagram called Highlight Execution. It is the light bulb button. So we're going to try that out. Let's change the X to 8. And when this runs, it's going to very slowly run the program and show where the numbers are going. Let's watch it again this time in slow motion for an X of 6. This is called data flow programming. The data flows along the wires from the left to the right until it gets to the end of the program. 
Let's try a harder one. Let's do x squared plus x minus 10. I don't have a squared, so I'm going to use the little caret key to show up to the second power. Let's delete our old program and put in the new code. So again, control click, bring up your function palette, go to the numeric palette. For the square, you could either multiply the number times itself or use the square block. Then we need to add x. So grab a add block, wire it, the x squared into it, and also the x back into it. Then use subtraction block and wire in a 10 to take away the 10. Wire that into the answer for the Y. Command U will clean up your code to make it look nicer. Let's check our work. Always check your work. So if we put in 6, 6 squared is 36, plus 6 is 42 minus 10 is 32. Let's run it and see if we get the right answer. And we got 32, so it is correct. Go ahead and make sure that you save your work. Command S is the shortcut to save your work. Make sure you save it someplace that it will be easy to find. Your challenge is to make your own equation and use LabVIEW to evaluate values of x for it.